Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated bird first aid kit. Now I made a video on this a while ago, um, back when I used to film my iPhone when I first started my channel. But I've kind of updated the first aid kit now with some other bits and pieces that I think are more relevant. So I'm going to show you what I've got in here today. Now a bit of a disclaimer before we get started, I am not a vet, I cannot give you veterinary advice because that's illegal, um, but I can help you find an avian vet, I found them all over the world. So if you need help with your bird, please leave me a comment, let me know where you are in the world and I can try and help you find an avian vet, but I can't give out veterinary advice, I can't tell you what's wrong with your bird, um, because that's just not really uh, very ethical here on YouTube. So. What I'm going to do is show you some first aid bits and pieces that you can use for first aid purposes only, not to treat your bird. This is not a substitute for um, veterinary care, but um, you know, if accidents happen, then we need to be on hand with our supplies so we can keep our birds healthy and safe. So let's get straight into things. So something very simple to get started with, just a pair of scissors. You never know when you're going to need them, whether it's for cutting bandages or if your bird gets stuck in a toy maybe. It's always good just to have them on hand and easily accessible. Next up, we've got my favourite, which I talk about all the time, which is apple cider vinegar. This is unpasteurised and with the mother. And this is very useful for very minor crop irritations. Again, not a substitute for veterinary care, but it can help you in a pinch if there is something that's looking wrong with your bird and you just need a bit of a pick-me-up for them. Now, I did actually make a whole video on apple cider vinegar. I'll leave a card for it now. Do go and check it out because there are loads of health benefits for it, not just in a first aid purpose, but also just for kind of a like an all round general tonic. So it's definitely worth giving a go. And if you need help finding a bird safe one, I've got a link down to my Amazon store down there, which is uh, a link to the ones that we get. So you know that they're going to be bird safe and healthy for your birds. Next up I have a little pot of corn flour. You can just get this in the supermarket in the baking aisle. But the great thing about corn flour is it can stop bleeding for things like uh, blood feathers that have come out in the wing. Or maybe if your bird has accidentally sort of cut its nail or its foot or maybe you cut the nails too short. You can just dab on a little bit of corn flour and it will coagulate and stop the bleeding. There are other options but this is the safest option. It's natural. It's not going to burn your bird's skin if you get it in the wrong place like other things will. So I highly recommend having a little pot of this in the cupboard and then you can just whip it out when you need it and then it's uh, perfectly safe to use. Just keep an eye on the best before date as well uh, just so you're making sure that all of your bird supplies, not just this, are in date and safe to use but this is just super easy. It's helped us in a pinch and we've had night frights with our birds and they've caught their wings or you know little minor accidents that do happen um, but it's been very very useful and I highly recommend having some corn flour in the cupboard. Now on to just a couple of kind of simple staples. We've got some uh, cotton pads here and then I've also got some uh, cotton buds or q-tips depending on what you call them where you're from. Um, these are just good to have just in case you need them. They're not for a specific purpose, but they can help with things like bleeding, applying lotions, that kind of thing. So it's good to just have some on hand. And it's best to keep them in like a little plastic bag so they're not sort of contaminated with anything else that might be in your first aid kit or any kind of dust or debris. So these are just good to have on hand just in case you need them. Next up, we have this F10 germicidal barrier ointment. Now this is very good, again, for minor cuts and scrapes, just to keep it safe from any bacteria getting into a wound. It helps clean it out and keep it safe and protects it. We've used this in one of the birds, I think accidentally cut their foot a little bit, popped this on, and then it was absolutely fine. This is safe for humans too, if you're kind of accident prone to, uh, but this is really, really good. We trust F10 as a brand. I use their uh, cleaning products to clean all of the cages, and then we've also got this as a first aid supply as well. And again, this is gonna be down in my Amazon store, as with as many things as I can link as possible, just so you have access to them um, and you can see what they like. But I uh, highly recommend this. This is something I didn't have in my kit before, but I have it now and I wouldn't be without it now. The next item in my first aid kit again is one that I talk about all the time and that is cayenne pepper. Now cayenne pepper is fantastic because it has mild pain killing and anti-inflammatory properties. Again, as I say with everything, because I want to really stress this, this is not a substitute for veterinary care or medicine or anything like that. But if your bird does have a minor bump or scrape or maybe they've had a night fright, something like that, or you know, they've flown into a wall because they're learning to fly and use their wings properly. You can just sprinkle a little bit of this over their food. Usually wet food is easier, but you can do it over dry food too. Just a little pinch for a couple of days, and this will help take the edge off of any kind of uh, pain they may have from minor bumps and things like that. So it's very good to have just on hand, and we've definitely used a lot of this with things like night frights, as I said, um, and because, you know, birds just like to get into trouble, don't they, mischief, so. If we can have something just to take the edge off um, and just to make them a little bit more comfortable, then that's fantastic. And of course, cayenne pepper is natural too. You can get it in the supermarket or from health food stores. So um, yeah, it's very, very useful to have in your first aid kit. 
The next product is called Guardian Angel. Again, I've spoken about this before too, but this is essentially a sick bird supplement and it's got probiotics, prebiotics, and vitamins and minerals and all that kind of thing in there. The thing with this is it really can make the difference when you have a sick bird, when you're trying to get them to a vet appointment, it can really perk them up. And that is so, so useful because as we know, birds are very good at hiding when they're feeling unwell. So if we can give them a pick me up when we are noticing that they're unwell, make sure that we're organizing their veterinary treatment, this could make all the difference in their recovery. There is also AvaPro that you can get as well. Um, I've had both, I think they're both fine. I prefer the ingredients in this one. I think it's a bit more comprehensive. Um, but yes, this is very good. We did use it a little bit when Olive was sick. We just sprinkled a little bit over her food. You can mix it into their water, but sometimes when you mix things into the water, it doesn't always dilute properly or it separates and then it's at the bottom and then your bird's not actually drinking it or they don't really like the taste, whatever it may be. So it's just very good, again, to have in your first aid kit. Next up, we've got a multitude of syringes in different sizes, one mils, five mils, 2.5 mils, that kind of thing. And these are very useful if you get some medicine from the vet and they don't remember to give you a syringe, you've got some at home. This is also good for measuring out the apple cider vinegar because you need to make sure you're not giving away too much or too little, so you know it's not worth giving in the first place. So it's always good to have a little stock of syringes on hand for your birds. You're so noisy today, aren't you? Very excited. Are you very happy? <laughs> The next item is uh, saline eye wash drops. So these are single use containers. I've got loads of them. I bought a big box of them again on Amazon, um, but these are very good. They are just saline. And if your bird gets something in their eye, maybe a bit of dust or something, you can flush out your bird's eye. We had to use this with pickles once because she had a bit of an eye irritation and it was great because we just had this on hand to use with her. This is just saline, as I said, so if your bird does end up having an open wound, you can wash it out with saline to get rid of any bacteria if you're worried that maybe they've got some dirt or anything in there. So these are very good to have on hand. I also have some of these in our human first aid box because as you may know, I've got very dodgy eyes. Um, so that were just good to have all around for you and for your birds. The next item is a pair of tweezers. You never know when you might need them. Um, I haven't needed them yet, but I have quite a lot of pairs of them. So I thought I would just put one in the bird's first aid box just in case. Now the last item is just some simple stretch bandage. And you may be wondering, well Sophie, why haven't you got loads of vet wraps and dressings and other bandages? The reason I don't have that is because if you don't know how to bandage or splint a wing or a leg or anything like that, you are gonna cause your bird more pain and potentially more damage and a risk of your bird's injury not healing properly. So I don't like to have loads of different kind of bandages. I don't like to show them off because I don't want people to kind of bandage up their bird's wing and then cause more kind of problems. So I just have a little bit of bandage on hand just in case. I have bandaged up wings and legs and things like that before, but again, it's not something I'm gonna share on the channel because it does border on that kind of veterinary information thing. But having some bandage is very good. This is just from the supermarket. I think it was about 20p, so very good. And um, yeah, it's just really handy to have in the kit. Now that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what's in our updated first aid kit. If you have anything different in your first aid kit, do let me know down below. I'd love to know what you have in there, any kind of extras I may have forgotten. And of course, if you need any help finding an avian vet, do leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you and try and help you find one in your area. But in the meantime, from me and the very noisy birdies, thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you later.